Hi guys, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade. Today I'm going to talk to you about touch point math. And what touch point math is, it's a way to um, teach kids to visualize the number so that they can do simple computations fast. Um, so pretty much what it is is each of these numbers has a dot on them that represents the number. So for this one, this is a number one, and you teach them to take their finger and to touch it. It's, just, it's the touch point and while they count, so one. Um, for the number two, one, two. For the number three, one, two, three. Here's the one for the number four. One, two, three, four. The number five, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, then when you get to bigger numbers, like the number six, you can see that um, there's a circle around each one of the circles. So there's basically two circles. Now, I did mine as little smiley faces, but um, it's generally a circle. And let me move these cards so you can see. And this one, since there's a circle around it, that means to touch it twice. So the kids are gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then for like the number seven, they're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So if it doesn't have the double circle, you just touch it once. If it has the double circle, you touch it twice. The number eight it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then the number nine has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I'm gonna show you some fun ways to use these cards um, for addition and um, other simple things that you can do with the little kiddos. And um, some manipulatives I have here to use with them. I wanted to also show you, I made the cards for each of the seasons. So these ones have pumpkins on them because these ones are for October. I have a apples on some for September. I have, um, this is the, the bag that I keep them in. And I just printed out the cover page um, so that I would have a label on the bag. Um, but I have them for every single month of the year. So I have like um, flower, here. Here's some for what I have for um, Easter time is Easter eggs. It's just kind of to make it a little bit more cute. Um, these ones are on green paper because I ran out of white paper, but needless to say, I did have some white paper. And um, my, I like the Easter egg ones. I think that they're really cute. Um, there's just, there's some for every single month. These, the flower ones are for May. Aren't those cute? So anyway, let me show you how you can use these um, to teach simple um, computation. Okay, so here is a cookie sheet that I put the cards on. And um, what I decided to do, this, is, this would be really good to do for um, a preschooler. And using some manipulatives, here I have some buttons with um, magnets on the back of them. And then here I have pom-poms that you can get at a craft store that I glued magnets to as well. I would suggest using a hot glue gun so that they really, really, um, the magnets really stick. And then you can use them, as you can see, on a cookie sheet and they stick really well. Okay, so then what I have my preschooler do is take the card. So here's the number three card with the pumpkins. And they would take the, uh, manipulatives and they would take one and as they count one two three so they're learning where the touch points are but they're also using a manipulative to do so um, so there's that one this one you can see five we put one pom-pom on each of the five touch points on the number five and then here um, since six has this double circle they have to count it one, two, they have to count it twice. We put two manipulatives. So they do one, two, three, four, five, six. So they put two manipulatives on each one of the double circle circles. It's just a fun way to get their fine motor going, um, using just some fun manipulatives to help with, um, you know, their kinetic learning, that kind of thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how you can use this for addition. Okay, so let's say we're doing four plus two. Um, again, I have it on a cookie sheet because cookie sheets also are dry erase. So I really like this. So what the kids can do is they can write their signs. Okay, put them over there. Just Whoa. put them over there. Okay, and um, just like so with the dry erase marker. And then what I teach my kiddos is to start with the bigger number and then to count up. Now, um, this one's already in order, so it's already the bigger number, but 
even if it, I teach them, even if it's this way and the bigger number's on this side, you still start with a bigger number and then count up. So two plus four, I would start, I would touch it with my finger. I would touch this number with my finger. So I would say four, and then I'm gonna touch the touch points and count up. So four, five, six, my answer is six, okay? Um, so the touch points are really, really helpful for addition. Let's show you another one real quick. Okay, here I'm gonna show you how touch point math can be really, really helpful for bigger numbers. So if your child is adding eight plus seven, and it's kind of hard to use your fingers when you're adding eight plus seven, if they learn their touch points, then um, it's easier. So first they have to look for the bigger number. So bigger number is eight. So I'm gonna to touch it and say eight. And then I'm going to touch and count on. So eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Remember they have to touch those ones twice. Okay, so my answer is 15. Notice how that was much easier than trying to use my fingers or even having to get out seven manipulatives. I can just touch it with my finger. Um, so these are great for those bigger numbers. Once kids have memorized where the touch points are on the numbers, then they can move on to um, doing it um, without even having to have the touch points on their number and they can do it themselves. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is a, um, the first page of Unit 5 test from my Early Learners Math Curriculum. Unit 5 is all about addition. And um, what the kiddos can do, once they have learned their touch points, is they can just um, quickly do the addition. So here I have six plus two. I'm gonna touch the number six and say it because it's the bigger number. So I'm gonna say six, and then I know where my touch points are on my two, I know they're on the ends, so I can just touch them and count on. So six, seven, eight, I already have my answer, I write down eight. Um, it, it works for it you know, any of them. So here's seven plus three, I'm gonna to touch seven, and then I know my touch points on my three are at the end. Here, I'll show you, I've got that one right here. So if the kids have memorized that the, the three touch points are on the three ends of the three, then they're gonna go seven, eight, nine, 10, and then they can write the number 10. So, um, so they can do it visually. Now, if they have a pencil, if they want to draw the dots, they can do that. But a lot of kids can move on from even drawing the dots and they just quickly, with their pencil even, just kind of touch where the points would be and then write the answer. So, great for addition. You can do the same concept that I'm teaching you right now for addition with subtraction and things like that. So, um, I love touch point math for that. It's great for preschoolers, great for kindergartners, great for first graders. Um, so, and then they, they memorized it for the rest of their life. So when they do bigger numbers, anytime they can use it if they need it. Um, so that's it guys. Yeah, you can play with that. Um, and uh, that's all I wanted to show you today. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is the math test. Um, so if you are interested in downloading these touch point math cards, I will leave a link below where you can get them off my website. And um, if you have any other ideas, questions, um, on how to use touch point math. Let me know in the comments and I will see you next time guys. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.